Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I have my central vac handle. It's got the two switches on it, the high and low. So the low is just for the central vac and the high turns on your beater bar. And that's not working on mine right now. So if you don't know what the beater bar is, that's this part of the vacuum with the bottom here. And it has your... Um, well, it's called a beater bar, but it has like a raised ridge and it has your uh, sweeper on it as well. And that's to shake the dirt out of your carpet and sweep it up as well as suction it up. So anyway, that's not working on mine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this apart and then we're going to test it with a multimeter and then we are probably going to replace this switch. So this whole thing comes as an assembly and it comes with the screws, it comes with the wiring, it comes with um, contacts and I'll show you all that as we take this apart. So first thing, I'm working on the kitchen table so I have a towel down, I'm going to move the camera closer so you can see this. So there's a whole lot of screws here and they're Phillips screws. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. I just turn it over, shake the screws out. Come on, one more. Looks like I missed that one. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to move the screws out of the way. I'll set that down. Now, okay. So, this is what it looks like inside. And it has these four rings here. And these are your contacts. That contact is for this circuit board. Oops, there it goes. This contact is for this circuit board, which hooks over to the switch and your power inlet here, or your power for your handle, okay? That's your beater bar power right here. It goes into the handle of the beater bar. So we are going to test these rings. So. Two of them will be high and two of them will be low voltage. I don't know which is which yet, so we are going to find out. First, we are going to plug in the 120 volt, only the 120 volt. All right, so now that that's plugged in, that means two of these are live. So we are going to set our multimeter for AC voltage and we're going to check which one has AC voltage. This one, these two rings here, have AC voltage, and these do not. Okay, so what we're checking for here is we're checking to see if there is a break in the electrical connection from here to the wall. All right, so it looks good right now. We've got Let's see here. Let's set this so you guys can see it. 120 volts. Okay. So. So I know that's these two here. So now I'm going to switch outlets. I'm going to take the electrical outlet out and then I'm going to put the um, low voltage outlet in and then I'm going to measure here. Let's see. DC voltage. I might have to have the switch on for this. And this will be low voltage. Those two. Okay. I'm reading 5 volts, which is fine. So what this does is the switch, which is the switch here, and you turn on the low voltage, that sends the signal, it completes the circuit here, and sends it to the relay and the... Uh, central vac and turns the vacuum on. 
when you switch it to high, it completes the circuit from here to here, your high voltage, and it turns on your low voltage as well. So it completes the circuit here and here. So these guys right here are the contacts that touch this. So my AC voltage is off. This is just low voltage now, so you don't know, we'll have to worry about that. But I'm going to unhook it. All right, so we've unhooked it. And what we've established is we've established that there's a good connection, um, low and high voltage. There's no breaks in this uh, piping because the wire runs through with the pipe. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the outlet, the switch, and the contacts. I'm going to take that out. And this looks like it's a universal fit. And I will leave you the part number in the description. It comes with another O-ring. And it comes with more screws, just in case you lose the screws. Okay. All the screws here. Right. Now, it also has this piece of foam in here. You have to take the foam out because these are springy, so it has to has to be springy. Now that one fits like this. So this goes here. So it slides in. Okay. And this one here. That slides in this way, I think. Yeah, well, there we go. That looks good. Let's rip the wires. And then this one... Where did this one go? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> okay. So, and that just slides in in the front. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to route the wires so that the wires don't get in the way of anything. Okay. So, you take the O-ring, you set it inside this ridge here, then take this part, slide it in. Set that in, clean this off. Yeah. A little bit of spit on it. <laughs> and slide it in. There we go. That's a perfect connection right there. Make sure that that's all pushed in and that it's nice and tight. That's not in. Oh, okay. So this has slot in it. That goes to the very top. Make sure that that goes all the way in. Let's put the ring in one more time. Very aggravating. Okay, slide that on. There we go. So, this part has to be slid out a bit. That ring has to slide in here. And the dog wants to be let in, of course. Now, come here. Reasonably good. Those wires. That's lined up. The O ring's in. This is in. The switch is kind of moving around, but this one here is in. All the way. So let's push down all the way. Okay. Try to button this up once again. Come on. Okay. 
Wow. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's try those screws again. So, this end of the hose does not come out, the switch moves, and it's not loose. This part is in, it swivels, okay, so that's important. So that all looks good. So, let's test it. So we're going to put our low voltage in, and the vacuum ends, make sure that's centered. And we're going to put the high voltage in. This plugs into the wall. And I need to bend that. Guess that's no. Good. All right. So, switch before. Low voltage was working. All right. And this is the new switch. Turns the vacuum on. Okay. The high voltage wasn't working. The vacuum wouldn't come on, or the beater bar wouldn't come on, one or the other. So it turns the suction on, right? Then we're going to test this out. And Yeah, perfect. Perfect. You can hear the vacuum working. No dust was coming out. It picked all the stones and debris up. All right, so that's it. It's fixed. Um, if you go online, you'll see there's a bunch of uh, reviews on these, and they don't last forever. The switch assembly is a problem, so that's what I replaced. You can replace the whole hose. Um, one of these high voltage ones is like almost $200 Canadian and the switch assembly was about $70 Canadian. So it's a significant savings even though it was still really expensive. It'd be nice just to replace the switch which is what I believe is the real actual problem. But uh, I don't know what else is in that switch. I suggest that there might be a couple little bits of a circuit in there. So uh, it might not be super easy to switch that out, but you might be able to find it. Have a look and see. So that's it. That's my video. Um, it was a relatively easy fix. It was kind of finicky, but um, it can be done and everybody can do it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, this seems to be a universal fit. Um, which probably means all these are made by the same company, but shh, we won't let anybody know. Okay? Nobody knows. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.